I am worried for the future enemies, villains, antagonists that's going to come across. Because if this is the format where, haha, Akrasilki, ew, gross, weird monster. Oh shit, backstory. Why is the piano playing? Who's cutting the onions? Oh, last episode was crazy. That episode, I think, was just so, so impactful. Definitely going to be an episode that I remember. It's going to be something that people talk about. Maybe not in the next decade or so, but people are probably going to say maybe best anime episode of this year. I think that's a fair contestant to put up there, like a candidate. Now, what's actually happening? Well, we've recovered the ball. ID has, uh, Ida has gone through the whole backstory too, along with Momo, and I think they're going to share a deep bond. Maybe they'll still banter and, you know, kind of hate each other, but in a more friendly way than before. Okaren has no fucking clue at the backstory. The ball hasn't returned, and there's only still one single ball in there, so I think there's another golden ball that may have to relate to the guy character that we saw in the opening. Does Ida have powers now? Well, we got the aura. We know about this like aura system, right? It's basically this fuel of energy, the source of living kind of. And since Akrasilki gave it all to Ida, does Ida now have some power similar to, you know, to Akrasilki? Or does Ida have supernatural powers that's been gifted by touching Okaran's golden ball? I'm not really sure. Let's begin today's reaction. We eaten noodles. <laughs> Turbo Baba! Ida came over! Yo, our family dinners are getting bigger and bigger! <laughs> You're a fucking doll! Look at Turbo Baba's- sorry, Neku Baba's chair! Look at the little Neku Baba chair, bro! It's so cute, but like, yo, if you eat this, where does it come out? Do you poop? It's a bit awkward right now, what's going on? Ida and Momo, they, they won't look eye to eye? Because Okaran has no clue what happened in the backstory. I think that's fair. The reason why you hate me so much is because I dropped a wash tub on your head, right? If someone dropped a wash tub on your head, I, I think that's fair. Right, right, right? I mean, there's a reason why we did it. She was a bitch to Okaran, but that, that is kind of wild that we did drop that on her head. Alright. Amicable terms. Sorry from her too. That's fair. Really? Alright, we're beefing. Uh, she can see it. Yeah, that might be the most ridiculous thing. Granny just... I don't know what kind of promise or contract she made with the devil, but there's no way a granny can look this fine. I agree. <laughs> they're gonna be best friends. Ida and Granny, they're gonna be very good friends. The crazy thing is Granny is always smoking cigarettes too. She does everything that's so unhealthy, yet she retains this perfect physique. Why? Because it's a fucking anime, bro. She's not real, it's fiction. <laughs> yep. Nekobaba looks so cute. Looking like Nekobaba there. I can't hear you. Why are we doing this? Strike. Yo, I heard that. The bowling pins. Whoa. That's cool. The captions. Sure. Bye. One sama, bro. Baba, one sama. Granny definitely approves of Ida. <laughs> Are you on my side? What the fuck? I'm your granddaughter. <laughs> yeah, one sama's cheering because you call her a hag. Oh. Wait. Wait. This is a good guy. Yeah. Heroic instincts. He is a human. 
Although there's some powers inside. Is this a triangle forming? Maybe not out of love, but she's now being very genuine with Ken. And she's saying, I'll liberate you from Momo. But like, this is a triangle in the making? Okay. Watch what this piano sounds. That's what I'm saying, huh? And guess what? Nekobaba don't give a fuck about any of this. Nekobaba was busy just eating everyone's noodles the entire time. Listen, look at that little chair. Look at this little stool they have for Nekobaba, bro. It's a little delusional for sure, but we know why. What feeling? <laughs> oh, it's forbidden love. It's so taboo. I shouldn't. He's a demon. I'm a human, but maybe, maybe this is okay. Bruh. Balls. Tight game? You, 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 you gonna throw a ball at me? What do you, what do we type tight game? The baseball bat's actually coming into play. Pitch. Turbo Baba Ball. Wait, would it hurt or not? Beyond the physical pain of a metal ball hitting you, would it hurt or not? Because he doesn't have balls. You wouldn't really feel the ball, but the single ball is there. And now it's being connected. I don't know how this shit works. Because he doesn't have balls, but now he has balls. The shaft should hurt. <laughs> Is it it? One ball? How does this work? He's got one ball back. So if you look at his ball sack, there's just one single scrotum. It's one ball sack. I, okay. Just one though, right? Cap. You got a testicle back. Just one. We need both though. Where's the other? Uh, 100% the other golden ball will be in the hands of the other character, the male character that we've seen in the openings but haven't shown yet, right? Because Aida and there's another male character who are very both important looking other than Okarun and Momo. So he must have it. Okay. He's already gone. Oh shit, no hanging out? You wanna come work with me on my report? Hmm. Okay, I mean, he's busy. What if it's a date with Ida? Nah, I can't be. Imagine that she catches him with Ida though after saying this shit. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Busy. <laughs> I'm doing your homework. But Ida, Ida though, Ida though. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, is Momo and Okarun dating? They both kind of said like, hold up. We had the kiss, indirect kiss. And then we kind of confessed that I do like you. I like you too. But we're not committed relationship. Both sides are very into each other, but there's nothing been very specific about love beyond that, right? So no, we're not, we're not dating. Bumpy. That was not a yes. Uh-oh. Okarun and Momo. Uh, sorry, Okaru and Aida. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh? 
how the fuck are you gonna find him just in Actress? Come on. Of all moments to find him on top of her? There must be a good reason. There's gotta be a good reason. Bruh. <gasps> the hell? <gasps> Momo getting cooked? Okay, flashback. This is what was happening before. He was working out. So, there is no report. Okaran feels weak. So he decided to grind his, you know, physique. Okay, he's doing push-ups. And then Ida somehow shows up. Okay, okay. He wants to improve. Damn, weighted wrists. Yo, Granny gave us a workout program. He's doing a hundred reps of taking it like a good boy. He's doing a hundred reps of Ayo. Hey, <laughs> he doing a taking it like enough. Yeah, move that shit. <laughs> yeah, these these hip thrusters, they, they're gonna do something, bro. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh oh my god. I can I can feel the back shots right now from <laughs> oh, what am I fucking saying? What am I fucking saying right now? Did you just see what I was doing? No reaction from her. He just simply just doing this the entire time. And she shows us so serious. Forbidden love. But She's... Wow, she is so into him. Maybe even more than Momo. <laughs> Giga Chad. Dude, this is probably the most sought out girl at the school. This frame is fucking hilarious. That she's trying to, you know, get her lips closer and closer. And he rejects her. He rejects the most popular and hottest girl of the school. True. She has gotten all of her lessons of love and what romance is by watching anime, I think. <laughs> what? If it's confessed, you have to kiss? Where did she learn about this shit? Just watching movies? What the fuck? And also, I bet, the more Okarun rejects her, it's gonna be the Freya effect in Danmachi. A woman that can have everything that they want. Yet, finally, someone shows up that rejects them. That will probably create a scenario where it's just like, oh, I want something I can't have. Everyone would fawn for me, but you reject me, therefore I want it even more. <laughs> what book? <laughs> Weekly true accounts. A full nude photo of the jungle's <laughs> You should not be getting life lessons from fucking magazines, okay? You shouldn't be getting life lessons from anime reaction channels either, but with a magazine like this, come on, man. <laughs> Romance Manual, Volume 8, R18, bro. This is Volume 8, by the way. She's already read seven extra volumes before. <laughs> I mean, being a widow, I guess, gets lonely, guys. I don't think dad has a new girlfriend anymore. <laughs> so dads are just... Listen, it's a widow, okay? Mom's gone. Dad's lonely, okay? You can't blame him. <laughs> what is this dance? It looks like a mating dance right now. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? I'm not an amateur in relationships. I just don't know about them. I could play Grand Theft Auto all I want and drive a fucking car. Does that mean I'm a professional driver? Hell no. Nah. I could be just watching and reading about fucking how to, you know, be the be, wave the blade. Am I a samurai? Hell no. Nah. Sure. She's the Lulu. 
No. She's possessed by you. Oh, whoa, got him. Moment where Momo shows up. Ida will now close her eyes in anticipation for a kiss. There it is. She's gonna close her eyes now. <laughs> Something about her puckering her lips like that is just so funny to me every time. She's like, come on, kissy time. No. Reject. <laughs> Bumpy orange juice. Oh no, Momo, it's not what you think it is. Momo, no. Momo's gone. Momo's gone. He's a no, no, no. <laughs> He's bringing the pumpy orange juice back. How do we explain the arm weight? Some kind of plate? No, I was weight training. I was, I was doing... Ask grandma. Grandma knows about the workout plan. We have an alibi. Yeah, that was a lie. I wanted to get strong. She too pissed. The pumpy juice. No! Pumpy orange juice had another fall to the ground, bro. These orange juices are fucked now. Oh, double kill. Striking quickly with raptorial limbs, it breaks clams to eat during territorial battles against other mantis shrimp is when they also unleash punches. What the fuck? Okay, thank you. Random fact of the day. Scary. Okay. It's this is actually the same concept of like if an ant was able to scale bigger and bigger, the relative strength they have compared to their weight, it's actually fucking crazy. Insects are insane in the tier list of like, I don't know, animal kingdom and living beings, if they could scale up, right? Theoretically, but they can't. I think that they they I, I forget where I fucking read this, but this is reminding me of old shit that I used to read. Damn! It broke it! <laughs> She's talking to the shrimp! <laughs> She's going through it. The gals aren't helping. That was very cute. Yo! He's still fucking working out in class! Wait, look at the ankle weight. Dude, he's doing like... <laughs> he's kind of like doing calf raises here. The bicep curls here. The grip strength of the left hand only. Okay, bro is working out everything. Locked in. Okay. Water. Domain expansion. Oh shit. This is the work of a stand user. <laughs> Only us two? <laughs> no. I... You know what? That might actually be a possibility. You never know. Like, Momo got so mad and upset. Like, somehow her powers are doing this. You, you, I, I'd be down to believe that. Like, probably not. But, like, you don't know. You never know. Momo's gone. No, Momo's here. So the supernatural are affected here. Only the supernaturals can be stuck. Is that shrimp thing gonna show up? Is the monster gonna be the science shrimp thing that punches really fast? Is it gonna be Okarun and uh, Aira together and shock Momo or is it the shrimp? 
Oh, it's a creature. I can see the eyes. Is that a sea creature? Oh, seahorse? Seahorse thing? Looks like a bald dragon. Oh, shit. The water. Oh, no. Yo. Look at this animation. It's hyping it up. Stop making any movements. Oh, and it can feel us, right? It can probably... It can send a wave and feel us too, right? It knows. It knows. It's coming. Laser beam? thing is strong as fuck. I'm scared. The, the setup and the, the way that they're portraying this new sea monster is actually pretty fucking OP. Now, do you think that Okarun's uh, bicep curls, the, the, the grip strength is gonna help defeat this thing? I, I don't know. Yeah, this is some Godzilla shit. And it's gone. Just a random yokai that showed up? Momo should be fine. Lucky that we were, you know, down like that. Man, you're still worried about where Okaran is instead of that fucking monster? No. Mm. That's right. Back then, it was an alien. The sumo was an alien, not a supernatural thing, because it said bananas. Then again, I don't know if we're going to just go off by that banana thing, but I think it might be alien. We beat it. Aida, what kind of powers you got? <laughs> Aliens better than yokai confirmed. I don't know. Why did the sumo show up? Are they just attracted to the supernatural like us? They want banana. But why specifically us? It's not just Godzilla. We got a boxer here. I don't know, Chiquita, you have a dream reference, but we got a boxer here, bro. Oh shit, Mike Tyson pulled up. Transformed already. Yo, I thought, I thought Ida just got bodied there. Ooh. Yeah, the cool ah, Okarun. He said it. This thing is just fucking rapping and beatboxing, bro. <gasps> wow. I, I, I can't say Ida Chan. Is Ida even her first name? Is it? Is her last name or her first name? Anyways, okay, we're not even there yet. Sorry, it's my, my bad. My bad for calling your fucking name before I kiss you. What the hell? This everything's backwards. First name, more important. Whoa. Aliens. The OG aliens. Episode 1, the grapers. The graping aliens are back, bro. That's them, yeah. Aida, save us. She might have some powers. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He's gonna pull up his fucking alien dick again. Ah, they did this. Banana. I just got my ball back. <laughs> so true. Okay, at the end of the day, they're all just after these reproductive organs. We meme it with the banana shit. Okarun, right? So powerful. They want 
to harvest his bananas and transplant that powers onto the alien. Same for everyone else with the high supernatural powers. <laughs> Yo, Ida, wake up. Ida, you got some powers, right? After all, they're the kind of same, yeah. They're stripping him naked. What if they see him and he's like, Oh, wait. You only have one ball. Oh, we were told that humans have two balls. Where, 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 where's missing ball? <laughs> Ida. <laughs> just got it back. I just got it back. Stop it. <laughs> All cut and cheeks. <laughs> Ida's powers. <laughs> Akrasilki powers, baby. Yo! She looks sick. She looks sick. Look at that. Look at the eyeliner. Look at the, the you know, the jaw, the mouthpieces too. Just like Okaru in her. Damn, that pose! Sama. Let's go, Aida. And that is another episode of dan 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 where everyone is still trying to get our reproductive organs. Listen, even though we got one ball back, we need another ball. Where's the other ball? Probably with the other guy character that's not been shown yet. Today's episode was misunderstandings. <laughs> Ida has no clue what love is. She wants to confess with a kiss. Okarun wants to get stronger. Wants to, you know, protect Momo. Momo sees Okarun and, I, you know, Ida. Uh-oh, getting cucked. Now, Momo still has to fight Godzilla by herself. And us right now, we're kind of like battling these alien dudes, the Sorpoians or whatever, along with that boxer guy. Ida, indeed, does have the powers of Akrasoki. I thought it might be something different, but it makes sense that it will be Akrasoki's power. Her form looks sick. Her design is epic. I wonder how powerful it's actually going to be because, remember, uh, compared to Turbo Baba, Akrasoki, according to lore, is like pretty trash tier, at least according to Turbo Baba, but we'll see exactly how this is going to work out. More worried about Momo, but that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.